Today we're talking about websites versus landing pages. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Mike Mancini, a Google Ads agency owner for the last nine years. Now, I often get a lot of questions on why would I rather run my Google Ads or any paid traffic to a landing page versus a website? Well, first of all, just in case you're unclear, a website is obviously your website. There is a ton of information on there. It may advertise all of your services, where you come from, you know, some about you information, all of your testimonials. There is a lot of information on a website. A landing page is essentially a piece of a website where it only is talking about one or two specific things. Let me give you some examples. Here's an example of a landing page that we built for a pressure washing service. Now, this is not a website. This is specifically a landing page. Now, what are the differences? If someone were to go to Google and type in pressure washing services near me and click on an ad and it takes them to this page, this page is designed specifically to capture their attention right away. First of all, if they type in pressure washing services, we've got pressure washing right here. We have a picture of a person pressure washing a home, home pressure washing. We have some content here dedicated to that subject. But the most important things about this page are it is designed to capture their attention and to elicit a reaction. Now, in this instance, they can either call the phone number, as you can see, these phone numbers, uh, when you hover over them, they're designed to click the call. So if they're on a mobile phone, all they have to do is click on the phone number and it calls the business. Secondly, we give them the option to fill out a form or call. You always want to give them both options. For example, somebody might want to actually fill the form out, but maybe they're in the car. All they have to do is click the button or click the phone numbers and it will call that business right away where they can get pricing information or hopefully schedule with that client. However, people don't always want to talk to somebody, so we give them the option to fill the form out. And as you can see, this page is not really sexy. It's only designed to capture leads. But another big difference about this page versus a website is the fact that you're unable to click anywhere off of this page. So if you go here and you click this about us, what it does is it just shoots them down the page to an about us section. Other services, same thing. Testimonials, same thing, okay? These pages are designed to keep the user on here, so they have to make a decision. Those decisions are either to call the business, fill out a form to request more information, or to leave. And as you can see, we have several calls to action. Call here, click to call, submit the form, click to call. No matter where they go on this page, we are guiding them to do exactly what we want them to do. Now, let me give you a couple of examples of why web pages aren't necessarily target enough and what you should avoid. With that said, this is not a knock on these businesses. This is just simply what I would do differently. Here is a website that obviously is talking about professional window cleaning services. We know we're in the right area. We see the big headline as well as we see a nice video. With that said, video loading automatically on a website can kill your conversion rate. 53% of your visitors will leave if your website does not load in three seconds or less. That's the problem sometimes with these massive videos and massive images is if they take too long to load, and I understand on your computer, it may load very quickly. However, if somebody's got an older phone or an older computer, it could take five, six, 10 seconds for that page to load and that person's already gone. That is why on landing pages, we might put a video, but they have to click on it to play it. Slow loading websites is one of the biggest mistakes you can make. Here's another example of a company who is advertising for power washing services. However, when we get here, it took us to a painting page. Once again, it's a massive image, which might be slow loading depending on who's opening it up, but it was for power washing services and it took us just to this website. All I see is information about painting, but how long do you think I'm going to be on this website before I close this window? It's gonna be less than a second. Even if they do offer power washing services, now I have to search around for it, okay? I've gotta scroll, I've gotta take time. We have gotten so used to Google giving us exactly what we're looking for that if we don't get it right away, we're just gonna click that back button and go on to the next one. Here's another example power washing Minneapolis and St. Paul. Do you see a problem with this page? First of all, this is an actual website 
where it's got all these different links where people can click around and get lost easily. Next, all I see is a massive ice dam on top of this house. Typically in Minnesota, you won't find too many people doing power washing in the middle of winter because everything will freeze. I don't want that to happen to my house. They shouldn't have a picture of a massive ice dam, even if they deal with those. They should have a picture of somebody power washing a home. The first thing I think of when I see this is, I really don't want my house to look like that. I'm clicking the back button. Next, here's another example of a power washing company. Power washing image, rated exterior cleaning service. Okay, it's got a form here. I would put the phone number over on the right hand side and make it bigger. You want it to stand out. The only thing really that I don't like about this is, number one, this big massive image that could cause it to load slowly but these links can take you all over the website. We wanna keep people's attention focused solely on their initial search. So if somebody searches pressure washing home exteriors, I want them going to a page like this. If somebody searches something like pressure washing concrete driveways, I want them going to a different page like this, except we'll talk about concrete driveways. We'll have a picture of that. We will have some information here. Now, a lot of people say, well, Mike, that's a lot of pages I have to create. It might seem like that. However, what we do is we just create one page with all this information. We'll duplicate it and change a few key features, such as instead of pressure washing home exteriors, right? We might do one page for concrete driveways. We'll change this title, the picture, and just some information. The rest of the page is literally going to be the same, but we can duplicate this and make a brand new page for a different service in literally a couple of minutes. We've spent tens of millions of dollars running ads for clients, and every single time, the landing page will convert much, much higher than a standard website. But don't just take my word for it. Landing pages are what every good ads agency anywhere will do for you. So are you running traffic to your website or to landing pages? Let me know in the comment section below and let me know what kind of results you're getting. I'd love to hear about it. And if you're looking for someone to help you run Google ads for your home service business, where we create the ads, we create all the landing pages for you. We manage everything for you. There is a link in the description area below that will take you to my agency, Mancini Digital, where you can sign up for a free consultation call with us. So if you got some great value out of this, please do me a favor, hit that like button. It really helps us in the eyes of YouTube. Hit that subscribe button and that little bell icon so you be notified of when I release new videos each and every week. And over to the right hand side, you will see some more related videos. Thank you very much for watching. I do greatly appreciate it and hope to see you again soon.